Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a first video for me. This is a wonderful new, uh, I'm excited to do this. It's actually our first mod showcase here. With So we are now with the 359 Peterbilt uh, from rtamods.net. Uh, lovely truck, lovely driving truck. Lo actually, lots of good stuff about this thing. I really like it. So let's break it down. Really quick video here on just uh, what kind of options you can send. Because this is not typically just your go grab it, download. Uh, this is a pay where they're from. Uh, a payware mod there from RTA mods. They've got a lot of stuff you guys have seen, like the 609, the 908. Uh, obviously, uh, Max Superliner is another one that they did. And now we've got the 359. So I'm excited to kind of look at this, take a deeper dive uh, into this mod. So let's do it. Let's uh, let's see what we've got. Now, I'm not going to try to do too much commentary, but let's move quickly through it. We'll get a good design on the truck. We'll take it out. We'll do a little quick test uh, spin around the lot here. With all of our stuff hooked up, uh, we'll pop that in the corner. You guys can see the miniature, the little setup we got going on here. Uh, and then uh, and then we'll let that be what it is. And you guys can be the decider of whether or not y'all uh, want to go pick this thing up. So, uh, first off, this thing starts out in a day cab. So, we're not, uh, you can see a P359, nice little logo there on the front. Uh, now, from the chassis perspective, we got 4x2, 6x4, and the 6x4 long. Um, I personally, I'm going to go with the day cab uh, long. I like that for whatever reason. I'm not even going to worry with the the uh, the 4x2 because there's something funny about cutting off the wheels there. Uh, but anyway, some kind of engines we got. Uh, looks like we got the double Ds, the Detroit diesels. I'm sure I got somebody's attention on that. Uh, 671, uh, we got the TI, the Federal Injectors, North California uh cummins we got the big cam 400 and the 500 tune so that's nice why i have to start with 500 we got to automatically go that out. we're going to do this maybe also this uh cummins big cam there we go we got caterpillar engines as well now i do have to say the caterpillar engines actually may be from another mod so you may not uh, necessarily see that on yours uh so we'll stick with the big cam 500 tune because i don't believe i have the big 500 uh in my mod pack right now and Eaton Fuller, we have to go with 18 speed with the retarder. Now, you do have a couple of the options there as well with differentials. Uh, the ratios are what you really need to pay attention to. Ratios for the different gears uh, is going to give you the pull power that you need to pull the heavy hauls. Even though you may have 780 horsepower in an engine, doesn't necessarily mean that the torque of that engine is going to get you enough to get up one of our exit hills here on ATS. So if they've done their due, di due diligence there, even if they've given us enough horsepower, if they've given us enough torque, to be able to get up those uh, embankments there on the on the side with these particular types of gear ratios, then it's going to be a good mod just by itself. So let's put the 18 with the retarder on there. I like the retarder on there. Uh, interior colors, we got black, pink, red. Okay, now well, the pink's kind of like the old coral seashell look. Our Freightliner used to do a lot of uh, uh, pink ones back in the late 70s and early 80s. So I guess if you're going for the ultimate class look, there, there you go. There's uh, There's pink. Uh, white, reds, uh, reds too bold, whites too clean. <laughs> Let's just go black. It hurts, it hides a little bit more dirt. Uh, so that's pretty simple. Let's see what kind of paint we have on here. So it looks like we've got just colors. Uh, then you can mix and match whatever you want to. Custom metallics versus just your regular standards like everything uh, all the other trucks have. Um, so let's look at, uh, let's look at a custom metallic color here. Let's do like a, a yellowish, kind of a burnt yellow, kind of a, a brilliant orange-ish color let's uh let's do something something kind of coppery copper ish so we'll maybe stay around this same this same color ah that's a little too more mustardy let's let's brighten it up a little bit yeah there we go and let's throw let's throw a not a white but let's throw probably just going to need a brighter yellow a little bit more of a, a nicer there you go that's perfect well, let's see what this is. So basically, the first one's your base. The second color, if you're not really that familiar with ATS, the second color gives you this nice brilliance to it. So always usually pick a little bit uh, better shade uh, from your darker color. So in this one's kind of like where your shadow's in a picture. So you've got your base, your shadows, and then your brilliance on top. So what, what shines up in the light, and you kind of see we've got this nice white, a uh, little bit more yellowy uh, tone come through. So let's pick our... Frame color. Now this, uh, not frame color, sorry, our framing color. Now this is probably what you'd call a, a nice accent. So whatever color you picked off here uh, is more than likely what's going to come through. So we can do a blue. Uh, we'll get in close here. That way we can see it on the side. Uh, you'll see it here on the edges, wherever light hits the uh, the truck. You'll see that come through really big and really brilliant there. So see how we've almost got a purple. So we're mixing yellow and blue. 
uh, and that's given this nice kind of brilliant blue uh, kind of swirl all the way around it. If you change this off to red, then you'll see like a really, really red tinge come through. I can see it right there. It's a way to put a really snazzy uh, accent. Now, if you decided to go green, uh, it'll give this whole entire truck like this really, not a neon green, but it gives it this accent color that's just really, it's pretty awesome. But I'm not a big fan of neon green. So let's just go back to, uh, let's go back to a, a darker, a deeper blue. I like yellow and blue for whatever reason. Let's do that. I like that. All right, let's go look at accessorizing this bad boy. So pretty good amount of pins here. Um, wheels, I'm not going to touch. These are the original wheels with this, so I'm going to leave them as they are. No reason to change those. Um, got the nice, uh, the old school in the back here. You got the old school double double lights there. So let's just start here the back, work our way to the front. Uh, so we do have two couplers. So we've got the standard SES, and then we've got the RTA coupler, which that one is bad at the bone. I like that. That's a nice little, little upgrade. Uh, got some nice wings here, chrome and color. So I imagine uh, these are just your quarters. There you go. And mud flaps come up. And you've got the full wing. So I guess if you want a full wing, you can have them. I'm personally not. I like the, the look of the work truck with the quarters on there. So let's roll that. Uh, wheels we're not going to change. What else we got here? Uh, okay, we got frame colors. Uh, ooh, the yellow is pretty nasty. I like that. I kind of like the black too, though. Mainly because our, our quarters are, are the color there. Yeah, red's definitely not going. Let's, let's go colored. Why not? And we've got tank colors. We can go yellow. Hmm. Now right, let's real chrome. Steps, what do we got? We got uh, two steps. All right, so it looks like we've it colors everything black. Maybe makes the diamond plate a little more pronounced. And that's just a straight-up chrome. So let's let's leave the straight-up chrome to go with all of that. Let's move around front here. Any kind of mirrors I don't see. Um, so no front quartering mirrors here. I guess they got those on that one. So let's uh, let's roll the bumpers. Uh, so we've got a oh, wow. We've got quite a few different ones here. Let's see what we got. Um, got chrome's got chrome colors. Okay, here's a shorty. So this is more probably of your. This is probably more of your construction hauler here. Got a lot more clearance on the front side, so um, you know if you do need to get up and up and over something, you don't uh, you necessarily have a lower truck. You don't have that big. So I guess the other one, if you're going to be planning on doing a little bit more long trips with this, uh, you would use a longer bumper, um, maybe just for air blockage and aerodynamics, and not letting all that wind get caught up in in between the radiator and grills and all that front suspension and stuff. Um, so it looks like we've got these two versions with accessories and then without accessories. <laughs> which is fine. Um, so you got your, your cornering eyelets here just to uh, give you that depth on the corners there to know where you're turning and where the front of your truck is. <sighs> now let's go with that. I like the caution lights down at the bottom. I don't, I'm not a really a big, huge fan of those big lights sticking up. So let's, let's leave it there. Um, so we got some headlights here. So we got, let's just roll through. We got color with the eyelets there, eyelashes on the front. Got them plain. There's the old like kind of old school outlaw style. That's kind of that's kind of neat. Don't mind those. And and then we got like the old school. Like I think even these are like on the 389s, 79s as well. We got this a uh, little bit newer, older style, but it's not outlaw style. Let's see. Let's go with that. Why not? I kind of like that. Let's roll that with the color on it. And. So it looks like we got front grill. Uh, so all these are labeled front grill. Okay. Well, this okay front grill black. Okay, so it looks like it adds a different mesh pattern, but everything else the same ridges. So that's a little wider grid pattern there in the mesh. Same outside chrome grill though. Um, let's let's roll that one. I like that one. I like a minimal grill. So we got windshield. Okay, so that's your bug shield. If you want that, I don't. Uh, we've got logos here. Oh, nice. Let's roll that. Let's roll. We got plate chrome here. So all right. So we got chrome plates there. We've got plate aluminum, uh, and then plate color. Yeah, we can't do plate color. Aluminum accents there. Let's go do. Yeah, there you go. So we got that in, encapsulating the logo there, and we've got the chrome runner here to the chrome grill. 
I like that. Uh, filter wise, we've got all filters, uh, all chrome. That's uh, I kind of like the all chrome there. I mean, you choice to color it out or chrome it out. One of the two. If I was doing black, I might would do color. Let's do all chrome. Why not? Let's see what that looks like overall. We may change it. Windshield sets. I don't ever do. What we got here? Chrome uh, visors. Oh, we got to go that one. What we got here? Roof lights. Uh, looks like we've got a, a black lining around the edge of the light there, and then reverse. So we've got chrome, chrome uh, accents, and then they're mainly all black from the top there. So uh, we leave that the way it is. Don't mind that. Horns, definitely. What we got here? These are just okay. Different styles. Let's roll that one. And what else we got over here? Spotlights. Spotlight black or color? Huh. Um. Let's just leave it color so it matches the headlight. And I actually like these mirrors here. Know why you'd put that on the top? Hmm. You have to sit far down in the cabs though to see up there. So let's just let's just put the one on the bottom. You don't get the front corner wings, which uh, you know, right here off the front fenders, which I kind of would like to have, but uh, you know, they don't have them. They don't have them. Uh, all interior standard plates. Uh, well, there's portal nav. I guess well, that'll be an inside option we could change. Uh, we've got mirror side black and chrome, so we'll leave that black since we've got mirrors up there that are black in color there. And there's steps. Okay, we've already done that. We've already done the back end there. Uh, anything on the exhaust. Okay, heavy smoke. All right. Yeah, I don't like these because they just go to the side. I don't know if I'm not doing something right, but I'm not, not a big fan because after you cut these off, they stay. I don't know if that's something they need to fix or what. But yeah, I don't want those. We'll just take that off. All right, so steps. And this should be frame tanks. Okay. I've said all that. Got all that. We've got the wheels. Uh, let's just see, because I see they've got, oh, they got a new hub there for this one. So the cool thing is about this, if you didn't like these wheels and you had some of the other ones, I've got the 609, and see they change the tires. Uh, they're a little bit smaller, and then I've also got an American tire and then a U.S. tire. They all come with their own separate individual wheels. And then you've got, of course, Michelin Goodyear, Continental Bridgestone. Now, these are all wheel mods, but the main mission i mean the main uh mods here now this one's off the 200 the continental you see it's got a little bit beefier tire actually doesn't look that bad but we'll stick with this and let's look and let's put the rest of it so chrome rta so there's the wheel uh and there is there's the wheel and the nuts there and let's see what else we got oh i like that hub i'm not sure which hub that's off of if that's off this truck or another one yeah let's roll that hub you can't go wrong with it. Let's change this one. Can we? Yeah, we can. Very good. Very, 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 very good. And all these Alcoas, they're all uh, modded wheel. All right, I like that a lot. Let's just see what the front wheel's got here. And then we're done. We are done. We got a couple of couple of different ones there. That that did come in. I like the front one. We gotta go with that one. Okay, there's that and nothing on that one. Nothing's been chosen. Okay, all right. So there you go. So there's a good walkthrough on all the uh, the customs. Uh, you got some some different styles of custom between the grills, the bumpers, uh, headlights. Uh, for the most part, you got some roof lighting there as well. If you like to smoke out of the stacks. A couple of different options really between paint and color. There's not a lot of accessories on this model uh, that kind of deal with changing the overall appearance of whatever the attachment or accessory is. So you don't have stacks. Um, you know, unless someone comes in and makes a pack later on that's like an accessory pack with this truck that they've put different stacks on to kind of add to this. Uh, no matter if I've got anything else over the top of it, this one still seems to be overriding um, all of the rest of the mods that I have on top. So really no accessory packs. Uh, cabin inside, we can look at that. we got basically wheels, I think. Uh, we got quite a few steering wheels. Where we, all the DLC wheels are in this. Maybe after that's actually off another modded truck. Um, standard stuff here. We've got the black, white, cream, an exclusive... Oh, okay, so the exclusive, uh, is that the same? Okay, yeah, the same one. So it's got the same rim, uh, but it has a color code on the inside of the Peterbilt. So if you're doing a black truck, that inside will be black. Um, I kind of, oh, Lord. 
<laughs> uh, I don't mind the big wheel. That's fine. Why not? Sure. What we got here? Weekend bag. Let's put the cooler bag in there. What we got here? No book weekend. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Now, I saw something here on the floor. What is... Okay, that's accessory slot for that. I normally have a wheel there, so let's put uh, all these... What have we got down here? It's golden crossbone, standard customizable carbon. Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, there you go. Let's roll that. Actually, you know what? We, we got a R2-D2. There you go. Let's roll a lightsaber on the front. Why not? I'm a Star Wars fan. Let's roll a... Uh, that or a Boba Fett. <laughs> All right, let's roll the uh, Skywalker. All right, sweet. All right. So there's that. Uh, any of these? Just making sure I don't miss anything here that you guys were like, oh man, you missed that, dude. That's the most, that's the best thing in the game. <laughs> of course I missed it. All right, let's see what this thing sounds like. So we got our computer in there. We're all modernized here in our 359. Uh, I like the way the floor is modeled. I like the pedals in here. It's got the old, like this tubular style. The whole pedal pushes in rather than hinges on a, a hinge like the gas and brake do. Um, so that's cool. Gauges look good. The Burlwood insert looks good. The black gauge right here. I mean, the black uh, lining on this looks really good. Kind of makes me feel like I'm in an old steam gauge, uh, airplane. So, all right, let's confirm this a hundred thousand dollars. So, a fairly modest price for what would uh, be considered a very strong truck here. So let's purchase this. Let's throw it. Uh, it's going to throw me here at Phoenix anyway. So let's just go and put it there. We'll okay that. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Now, I may have to turn this up or I may have to get a little closer to it. We'll just see how loud this truck is. We'll get a good, uh, let's get a good spin around. Looks good. The lights look good there. Oh, it's a nice dynamic lighting there. Beautiful. I decided to do this at 8 o'clock at night just because you get to see the reflections. You get to see some lighting on the ground. Uh, you get to see how all of this stuff looks and how the lighting plays with the model. So it's really, really cool. And you can really see that blue tinge coming through uh, just on the paint job there. So that's slick. So anytime you get a light, an outside light, um, you know, really anytime you get anything like that, you'll be able to, to see that and check it out. So while we're doing that, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my uh, cam here. So what's up, everybody? So you'll be able to see the screens there, but I really just wanted to give you a little showcase here on the uh, on this stuff here. You guys can see, uh, you see me drive uh, as well as shift here while we're testing her out. All right, we'll start it up. Let's see what we got. Now we are on the Big Cam 500, so this is the Cummins engine. So we're going to check out and see uh what what things sound like it's nice i like that all right we'll take it through a little quick spin around the block here great of course it sounds great I don't usually drive a truck that doesn't sound good <laughs> nice Jake break of course I know everyone's gonna love hearing the Jake break Probably a little bit too strong for my taste, but I don't really know what a real one's supposed to sound like, or uh, not sound like, but I don't know what they're supposed to, uh, you know, feel like how much actually slowing down they do. Let's let it rip. Nice. 
guy's like, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> See this truck just come all the way down the road, 70 miles an hour through the downtown streets of Phoenix. Running red lights, breaking the law. That's only because we got the outlaw headlights, isn't it? Just because we bought the headlights, we have to be an outlaw. <laughs> Yeah, engine brakes got a little too much power. I may see if there's a setting I can back off uh, to see what we can do on that front. But let's uh, let's pull in here. Uh, we'll spin around here now that we've got us uh, got a good uh, good feel for what it is. Now you got cap uh, caterpillar engines as well, so if you like the coming sound, you can go with that. Uh, you've also got that 3405 and I think 3406. Uh, you've got those engines from Caterpillar as well uh, as Detroit Diesels, and I believe that six. I don't know if it's six seventy one. I can't exactly remember the number combo on that. I'm not sure what brand of motor that is, or if it is the brand. I'm really not up on all of my truck engines. I know the standards, uh, at least between what is normally here with um, with most of the American truck stuff. So I like the air brake sounds. I can't tell. I do have a sounds pack file. I always run this stuff because I I like to I like to hear what it's going to run when I put all of my mods in there. So this sound file I'm going to actually link to uh, because if you get this mod and you say, dude, my truck don't sound nothing like yours, can you post that link? I will. Uh, I'm going to do that. So y'all can, can rest your shirt. I'll put that on there. So i tell you what. Let's uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, just do a close off here. Oh, let's check the horn. Could be louder. But it's okay. Perfect fifth. Not too bad. Oh, nice. We got a license plate down there. So our World Trucks profile is already on here. Uh, as you can see it there, the FTG 2040. So that's my World of Trucks profile. And that is, uh, just just if you were wondering, those caution lights are turn signals as well as your hazards. So uh, that's cool. And then you've got your brights. Now, spotlights, I could not get to work. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm missing a, a button assignment or maybe that's just not supposed to work. Um, thought maybe reversers but that doesn't work either so I don't know. if you do know what those work too or if there's a way to cut that spotlight on let me know here in the comments I appreciate that uh, just so I can you know, make it make a note next time we actually stream this so so there you go so the 359 Peterbilt here by RTA Mods a fabulous truck uh, this is one of those great old-school workhorses that sounds great uh, maybe that's because of the sound pack I probably should have taken all that stuff out but I will go ahead and link to that sounds pack uh, so you guys can have that for engines uh, and also, you know, for whatever this engine has. I would say that that one is part of the RTA mods of the 359 and not a part of my mod set. But just in case it's not, and just in case these sounds are not what you're hearing, uh, then let me know if you want that. You'll be able to check the description. And I always say that a third time because people skip around and they always miss that. You know, wait, hey, where's the link for this? And I'm, well, it was in the description, but if you'd watch five more minutes, you'd have seen that. So anyway, long story short great truck hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the customization options so this gives you an option of whether or not you would like to go see these whether or not you want to go download this so anyway i hope you'll enjoy the video guys i'll see you here in the next live stream we'll be featuring this one uh always check our thumbnails our thumbnails are always featured the truck that we're going to spend the most time in uh as well as when we're picking up trailer loads and etc etc so um so anyway guys go check that out if you see it uh and if you know if you haven't seen it yet and i haven't done the live stream if you're depending on when you're watching the video then come check it out and when you see it fly up go ahead and throw a subscription up there hit that button uh and you'll be notified as soon as we go uh live with it so anyway thumbs up to this one guys i hope you enjoyed it we'll see you here on the next video peace out